contain Hamsel Dalatin. Fadal. Shakrun. That's your job. Was I followed? Mm -hmm. You have something for me? A present. A street address. Kashmullah. She's right.
41 got a thousand dollars up for grabs a little bit after the news in our 925 contest. Good morning, Charles Van Sant, Light 100 FM News. First up today, reports just in from Lebanon. Early this morning, a massive car bomb shook the city. Due to the force of the explosion, no identifiable remains have been recovered from the vehicle, but it is feared that the car was being driven by an off-duty U.S. Marine officer. So far, the State Department has refused to comment on the incident, but sources close to the embassy in Beirut suggest that the officer was a member of a covert operations team recently placed in Lebanon to secure the release of U.S. hostages. Well, no plans for a change in Joe Stevenson's life. Joe is a night custodian of the Yes. Yes, this is Chris. He has no plans to quit his job with the Dayton Public Schools. Says Joe, what in the world would I do with myself? Yeah, okay. I'll be right over. American, huh? Yeah. I always know. Come. Come, come. To the taxi, to the taxi. Oh. <laughs> I'm Gila. You? Chris. Chris. Where are you going, Chris? The American Embassy, please. Mm. Big shot, huh? Like you said, you know. You're not so lucky today. Oh yeah, what is that? There was no fighting today. I don't get it. No fighting, your plan lands. And now you're here in Beirut. So you're not so lucky. <laughs> Hey, what is this? Checkpoint. You let Gila do the talking, yes? No, no, no. 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 No, no, I'm in Almatar. I'm in Who are they? Who knows? Beirut, everyone has checkpoints. <laughs> Why was he laughing? I told him you were tourists. <laughs> no you want I wait? Suit yourself, okay? I wait. Sir, can I see some identification? Sure, right here. Okay, sir, go on. Security clear, Jack. Check the clear. Mr. Grant, we've been expecting you. Would you turn around, please? It's just a formality. Have a seat, Mr. Grant. 
We'll hang on to this for you. Charlie, your 1030 is clear. Charles Wolf, consular section. Chris, right? Right. I won't say I couldn't tell. You mind if we walk? You'll have to forgive the security boys. Things have been a little tense around here lately. I mean, just doing their job. Mind if I ask you what you do for a living, Chris? Uh, I coach basketball. College? High school. Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, Ohio. Wow, you're a long way from home. Washington told us you might be coming over, or warned us. Sounds like you've been raising some cane back home. Yeah, well, I've been asking a few questions. Related to the untimely death of your brother, right? Related to the fact that I don't believe my brother's dead, right? So I heard. You got any evidence? Cards, letters, correspondence, something we don't have? Well, actually, Mr. Wolf, what brought me over here was your lack of evidence. Specifically, my brother's body. Look, it was a massive explosion. There was no chance of recovering any identifiable remains. Now, I wish it hadn't happened, but it did. Now, the best thing you can do is to go home. My people are double-checking everything, and we'll get back to you with some details. Meantime, sit tight. Oh, don't bother to call us. The phone system sucks. Nice meeting you, Mr. Brand. You can find your way out. Craig. I'm Chris. Christopher Brand. I'm Craig's brother. Sandra Ross. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that uh, Craig never told me he was a twin. He's a twin, Miss Ross. You're right. Craig is alive. Do you smoke? No. I know I should give it up, but uh, I guess Beirut isn't exactly the place to do it. Excuse me. Hello? Kihale. Awa. Taban. Lama Naraf. Uh-huh. Shugran. Bye. You speak Arabic? Yeah. I grew up here. I didn't have to learn the hard way like your brother. <laughs> Craig speaks Arabic. Sure. You didn't know? Well, I haven't seen him in a while. We have a lot of catching up to do, I guess. Chris, you know that every piece of information we have here confirms... Yes, that... I know. Confirms that Craig is dead. That's what the Marines told me, and that's what they told me in Washington, D.C. But they never found a body. How well do you know my brother, Miss Ross? Sometimes we work together. Craig and I are twins. Do you know what that means? Whenever something bad has happened to him, I've felt it inside. My father used to say when we were kids, if one of us fell, the other one cried. I know it's hard to believe, but I know Craig is alive. That's why I'm here. And you said it yourself out in the hallway. You don't believe he's dead? Because I didn't want to believe it. Look, I know this is hard to accept. Miss Ross, I had this dream about Craig. Now, somebody died, but it wasn't him. Maybe he's in trouble, but he's not dead. Chris, stop. We were going to send you these. They were recovered from the wreckage of the car. They're your brother's dog tags. I'm really sorry, Chris. Thank you. Sorry for wasting your time. Chris. Beirut is dangerous. You need to be careful here. Are you staying at the Commodore Hotel? Stay there. It's the safest. 
Look, Chris, there's some things I think you don't know about Craig. This is my home address, number 8 Avenue George Sank. If you want to talk, I'll be there. Okay? Sure, it's a deal. Commodore Hotel? Yeah. Like you say, you know. down the street. Shukran. Pyramido, then? You have been in Peru before? No, but I recognize these streets. But sir, this is not a good place to stay. Just wait here. Okay. Me? I mean, do I remind you of someone you saw here? Maybe two, three weeks ago. No, I'm new here. It was someone else then. I need to talk to them. He's gone. Gone? Maybe dead. I need to see your room. I'm thinking about staying. Yes, of course, sir. 351, it's our best. He will show you. Welcome. Welcome, please. You have been in Lebanon before, sir? No, I just arrived, but my brother was here. Here? Yeah, in Lebanon. Sir? Sir, the room is in the third floor. Sir? Sir, you can now. This, this floor is full. Full, huh? Please. Sir, it's closed, please. Closed? Yes. Yeah. What happened here? Nothing. I, I don't know. Everything is normal. Normal? You call this normal? Welcome to Beirut. Bullshit. Something happened in this room. I feel it. It was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir. You call nothing, huh? Huh? A girl, she, she was killed. What else? What else? A man like you, they took him away. They? Who were they? It's my brother. Who took him? S some men. I, I don't know. I tell no, no lies, sir. I tell no lie.
بالجسوس اللي مريك عنده أخ أخوان توم شو؟ معلوم متأكد هو هون في الوتيل أوكي كون يبوس ها؟ Is that who you calling? <laughs> Boss, please say I know nothing. What were you saying to him? Huh? Nothing's said nothing. Get in there. <laughs> All right. Now you're going to tell me what happened to my brother. Where is he? The Kashmulah. Kashmulah. And now we have you two. <laughs> Christ. Look, a Kashmota. Can we go? Let's go, huh? Mr. Brandt, I'm sorry, I forgot. You don't smoke. You must be the only person in Beirut who doesn't. Would you like something else? Coca-Cola? We are the same in many ways, you and I. Professionals. Only we really know what it means to win. And to lose. I understand you, even though you tell me so little. Remember, we all talk in the end. But it's true, for now we hardly know one another. Did you know, for instance, that I was once in your state of Ohio, when I was studying for my MBA? Ohio. 
funny. You killed the Indians, but you kept their names. Maybe if you killed me, you call a town Abdel? No? <laughs> and how little I know about you. You never even told me you had a twin. And now he's here, in Beirut. Is he a spy like you? He's quite a fighter, this brother of yours. I should have guessed. He killed one of my informants. Another debt to pay. Can you imagine what fun I can have with twins? I can kill you and still ransom you. I can play so many fucking games you won't even know who you are yourself. Yeah? Open the door, Mr. Bland. All right. All right. Just a minute. Mr. Brandt, open the door. Give me a minute. Mr. Brandt, open the door, please. Okay, okay, I'm coming. What? Mr. Brandt, you're under arrest for the murder of a Lebanese civilian. Yalla! Yalla! Pujua! Yalla, yalla! Take it easy! Erkvihor! Ah! Well, you look like you fell from the seat into the shithole. And that's where you want to stay, unless you start listening to some good advice. What the hell are you doing here? Watching out for your tail is what? You're doing a great fucking job so far. Your brother and I were good friends. We worked closely together. Maybe that's what I'm doing here. Now, you killed a man. Murder is punishable by death in Lebanon, unless you croak in jail first. You see the legal system? It's a little slow here. Now, I pulled some strings for you. Our plane leaves in two hours. If you agree to be on it, I'll have all the charges dropped. I can't leave, all right? We don't work with civilians, Brant. If your brother is alive, I've got work to do. I can't afford to be following you around picking up the pieces. Now, if he were here, he'd tell you the same thing. Yeah, well, he's not. So I'm staying. Damn right you are, boy. Right here. You think about it. Hey! What about my phone call, huh? Like I said, phone system sucks. Gilad knows a good man when he sees one. Also, you are a good investment. <laughs> you Americans are rich. <laughs> but it wasn't so easy to arrange. See, my brother has a friend who has a cousin 
This cousin has a friend whose brother... How much did you have to pay? Too much. Thanks, July. Won't I wait? No, I think I've had enough for one day. Hey, July, this is all I have on me. Can I owe you the rest? It's no problem, I trust you. See you tomorrow, huh? Sure. Thanks, my friend. Masalami. Masalami. May I add the key to A14, please? Thank you. You're Okay. Craig. Craig. My God. What did they do to you? Craig. Water. Water. Water? Water. Water! Guards! Water! We need water! Let's try it, coach. It's none of my business, but <coughs> what, the, what the fuck are you doing here? They told us you were killed. A car bomb or some bullshit like that. I'm not that careless. <coughs> yeah, that's what I thought. That's not your style. Great. Now go home and tell them you were right. No, you're gonna tell them yourself. We can take these guys, Craig. I got a knife strapped to my ankle. Under my pants, you can get it. Gentlemen, please. Take your time. This is a very special moment. Who do you think you're dealing with? Amateurs? My God. Remarkable. You're identical. I even see the same hatred in your eyes. You must understand, your brother has information that is vital for us. Sadly, he's an obstinate man. <laughs> and if he had the chance, I'm sure he'd do worse to me. Your people have already done worse to mine. Who the fuck are you guys? The Kashmullah. Guardians of the oppressed. People who can... Unfortunately, never give up. Put him against the wall. A photo opportunity. You'll be famous. Hold up the paper. Up, I want to see it well. Now smile. Deliver it to the press. Tell them it's Captain Craig Brandt, notorious U.S. spy. Tell them he's in good health. As they can see, he's not been tortured. He'll be freed in exchange for the release of our 23 brothers held in jails around the world. 
They have 48 hours. Then we start killing him first. Now go. I've placed an obituary for another of our brothers, the man you killed last night. You see, we do not forget our heroes, nor do we forget their murderers. Yes, sir. They're alive. That's all that matters. I'm not going anywhere without you. Chris, you're never going to get out of here carrying me. Now get some help. Tell them the hostages are alive. Tell them nothing's been compromised. You understand? You understand? Go! Go, man!
Chris. Do you have time to talk? I think you should take a look at this. It's tomorrow morning's edition. We've been trying to reach you at the hotel all night. You were right. Craig is alive. The Cashman Law has given the State Department 48 hours to arrange for the release of 23 hours. I know, I know. What? The photograph is not Craig. What do you mean? It's me. See, it's the same clothes. You were there, and you just walked out? Not exactly. I was in the same cell with them. We almost got away. Look, Craig is alive, but just, we have to go back and get him. It's not that simple, Chris. It is absolutely that simple. But what about the other hostages? You go after Craig, you jeopardize them. We get Craig, we can get the hostages out, too. Chris, this isn't the Wild West. We can't just gun our way down the streets until we find them. I already found them. They found you. And they're not stupid, Chris. You got away. They'll be long gone by morning. I'll find them again. But I'm going to need your help. I have to know who I can trust. Who has information? Why couldn't you listen to me? Why couldn't you just make this easy on everyone? Don't you think it's a little late for that, Sandra? I saw Craig half beaten to death, but still hanging in there. Because he believes in you. All of you, goddammit. You know what he said to me in that cell? He said, tell them nothing has been compromised. Nothing's been compromised. Well, maybe he's wrong. Maybe everything's been compromised. And maybe you really don't give a damn, Miss Ross. I'll see you around. Chris. Don't go back to the hotel. They'll find you again. You can stay here. In the morning, there's someone I think you should meet. Someone who might have some information. You should get some rest. I'll see you in the morning. Sandra is like a jewel shining among the ruins of the festering city. You don't think so, Mr. Brandt? You are too kind, Emil. I'm merely honest. As Sandra may have told you, I knew your brother well. You mean you know him well? Oh, of course. <laughs> Forgive me, my English sometimes is not so good. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I grew up here. My parents ran the hotel, the finest in Beirut. Sadly, with the war, there are no longer any guests. Next year, perhaps. Forgive me, I'm dreaming. This war has destroyed our country. All we have left is our dreams. Plus a chance. Mais c'est la vie. Forgive me. <laughs> I grew up speaking French and Arabic. My mother was a Maronite Christian and my father a Sunni Muslim. So I walk the dangerous path between East and West Beirut. So I belong to no side. Yeah, what if they made you choose a side? Oh, they have, Mr. Brandt. Many times. Emil, I believe there were times that you were able to assist Captain Brandt with his work here. If you mean, was I able to locate the hostages? The answer is unfortunately not. However, I was able to put your brother in touch with uh, some people, in particular one girl, who might be able to furnish the relevant information had the circumstances been more kind. That was the girl at the hotel. Unfortunately. We need to try again, Emil. After Chris escaped last night, the hostages will have been moved in a hurry. Well, that's hard to do without people noticing. There will be more uh, expenses. Of course. I'll do my best. Your brother with a girl, he was uh, careless. I hear that you are careless too. Now it will serve both our purposes if you be more uh, careful, more discreet, Mr. Brandt. You trust that guy? There aren't too many saints in Lebanon. 
But Emil likes to believe he has an honor of sorts. We pay, he delivers. And he's right about one thing, Chris. You have to be more careful. Here's the key to my apartment. I want you to wait there until I call. There's nothing we can do until we hear from Emil. You understand? Yes, Miss Ross. Get in, I'll drop you off at the embassy. You know, I think I'm gonna walk it. I could use the fresh air. You sure you can find your way? I did it at night. I think I can do it in broad daylight, okay? Okay. to catch but Sandra said Sandra works for us sometimes she forgets that now get in the goddamn car you've met Harold he's your new escort compliments of Uncle Sam Harold even packed your bag after that stunt you pulled last night we don't have time to dick around till you came into town we were close to recovering hostages now we got a 36 hour deadline and we don't even know where the hell they are boy you're getting to be a major pain in my ass no smoking, right? Right. And make it a window seat. I want to see him wave goodbye. And the list of headlines at 532 to Paris and New York is now revealed. She's talking to you, boy. Hey, look at it this way. In a few hours, you'll be home eating apple pie, and I'll still be stuck here eating shit. Yeah, and maybe you'll choke on it. <laughs> Harold, get off your ass. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Taxi! 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 Let's go! 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 Chill out! Please! Let's go! There he is! Come on! Let's go! What the hell are you doing there? I'm a taxi driver. It's my job to be there. Yama, yeah, the road is broke. We got a car, Harold. What are you doing? Damn. Holy shit. No. That was too close.
nobody in the fucking car. <laughs> what the hell's so funny? You have to admit it, Harold. It'd be a heck of a guy to have on your side. Let's get the hell out of here. You drive. Hello? Chris? I thought you'd be... On a plane by now? Yeah, that's what Charlie thought. Then he ran into a technical difficulty. You have to understand. Yeah, I know. You were just doing your job, right? Well, you keep doing it, and I'm gonna wind up dead, Sandra. Chris, I didn't tell Charlie anything. Look, you have to believe me. Yeah? Where are you? I'm with someone I can trust. <sighs> Sandra, why did you do this to me? You said you wanted to help me. I need your help, Sandra. Can I meet with you? Not at my apartment. They must be watching it. Do you remember where we met Emil? Yeah. I'll meet you there tonight at 9, inside the old hotel. I'll be alone. I promise. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah. Sorry about your car, Jelan. Ah, don't worry. We had many miles together. And much insurance. Um, there is, however, a small, um, how do you say? Deductible? Yes, deductible. <laughs> Put it on my bill. Okay. <laughs> place must have been something else, huh? It was the grandest hotel in the Middle East. The brochures used to call it a shining star in the jewel of the Orient. My mother used to bring me here. I just heard from Emil. He has the information you wanted. He wants to meet with you. Where? In Biblos. It's a small village just north of the city. He'll be there at six outside the church. Are you coming too? No, I can't. You can't give up, can you? Even if you wanted to, you couldn't do it. <laughs> You're right. Look, when Craig and I were growing up, every day after school, we'd come home, we'd hang out in the backyard, shoot baskets, play one-on-one -on -one basketball. Alone, neither of us was very good. But together, we were pretty good. We made the team every year. But you see, the other kids, they were always trying to break us apart. For some reason, they always came after me. Why, I don't know, but it was always me. Now, when we were kids, it was all right. It was light. But as we got older, it got heavier and heavier. Until this one game in state championships, our junior year. This guard, he's riding me pretty serious. He's throwing his elbows. He's stepping on my feet. It's like he's throwing punches at me. Now, Craig looks across the court and sees this. Walks up to this kid. Bing! Knocks him out cold. The referee threw Craig out of the game, but first... The coach got him. He comes charging across the court yelling, What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Now, Craig is only 15 years old, but he looks at the coach and says, That's my twin brother. What am I supposed to do? You see, Sanja, we're still twins. What am I supposed to do? You know? I have to go. Does Charlie Wolf know we're here? If he knew, he'd be here by now. He can't give up either, Chris. And you won't get so lucky next time. I should tell him, you know? I mean, it's my job to tell him. But I don't want you to leave. I think I want to help you. I just don't know what's right anymore. Yeah, you do.
being right doesn't have to hurt so much. Hey, you know, uh, this could be a good place to dance. You know, I can live a life this place. Welcome. Hey, what's your name, kid? Yazi. Yazi? You speak good English. Only a little. I teach myself. Oh, yeah? Who taught you to ten bar? Ten bar? I mean, it's been a long time since anybody offered me a drink, that's all. You're not like the others. What the hell are you doing here? The Kashmula took me to be a soldier. They are all that I have left. But one day I hope to go to her country. Yeah? Well, that makes two of us, kid. I have a brother in America. He wants to help me. I understand that. I got a brother, too. He wants to help me. But he's a fool. And he cannot. Do you understand why we have these hostages, Yazi? Well, let me tell you. For too long, our people have been ignored. Our homes destroyed, our families slaughtered. And no one noticed. But take one American hostage. And suddenly the world listens. I know. I was in America for three years. The land of Budweiser and Burger King. And freedom. They're such fascinating people, these Americans fool with such high ideals and such low morality. America has a pretty face, but an ugly heart. Never forget, Yazi. It was American bullets in phalanges guns that massacred your parents. America is your destruction, not your future. I will show you the future. Hello, awful. I'm straight. Good morning, gentlemen. I want you to see something. Something that I want you to start getting used to. Throw him on the dirt. MC. Shoot him.
Do it! Now. I'm waiting. Shoot him, Yazi. Remember your parents, Yazi. And the blood. Remember the hell that never came and the flies that came instead. Remember the pain, Yazi. And the hate. Tomorrow the gun will be loaded. And this is the future you want. It's not so easy to drive, you know? It takes time to learn. Sounds like it. This is the uh, best you could do. I wait for my insurance money. They say very soon. Shamba. Oh, I get it. This is my fault that we're in this jalapia, huh? <laughs> Jalad, where did you get this? Well, it wasn't so easy, you know. My brother has a friend who has a cousin who has a friend. Right, right. I heard this story. Money talks, right? Mr. Brand, I'm so glad you are here. Come, my friend, have a seat. I'll stand, thanks. The sunrise not with you? No. Pity. I hear uh, we had guests at the hotel last night. Do you have information for me or not? Oh. I was indelicate. My apologies. I was fortunate. Sandra was correct in her uh, assumptions. Owing to your disturbance, the Kashmullah had to move the hostages out of Beirut very quickly. They were a little clumsy, and they were noticed. By who? Mr. Brandt, my business is being helpful. Like a priest. <laughs> if I told you my secrets, I would no longer be helpful, and I would no longer be in business. However, the hostages were moved to a temporary base in Bakha Valley. It is uh, not, uh, what's the word, uh, accessible. It is 20 miles from here, a very difficult place. You're going to take me there? Mm, that is impossible. But you will get me close. Uh, unfortunately, today, I have some business to Emil, I'm face. starting to lose my patience. Mr. Brand. We are in church. Listen. There is someone who might be able to help you. In fact, he is right here, waiting for you in the monastery. Whoa! 
Way ahead of you, Tin Star. Emil, that son of a bitch. What'd you expect? He's a pimp. Hey! I've had it with you, Brant. I told you yesterday you're a major pain in the <laughs> ass, even if you do have a lot of balls. The cash will have sent out another press release. They start killing hostages tomorrow unless we deal. So time's up. What are you gonna do? Weigh your options? Ah. Official orders are we to take no action that's hostile or offensive. Offensive? When are you guys gonna wake up? Then? Then, they're the unofficial orders. Do whatever it takes to get them out. That means we're in business. But get this straight, Brand. You're only in this thing because you're deniable. You screw up, we never even heard of you. Just a loose gun going in on his own. Lud, you don't have to come with us. They'll rent the truck from you. We just need a vehicle, okay? I promised my brother nothing would happen to the truck. Nothing's gonna happen to the truck. Yes, like nothing happened to my taxi. That's it right there, the old fortress. Little place they leased in the country. Kind of like a terrorist R&R. &R. The cash mullah doesn't make a lot of mistakes. But this just might be one. It doesn't look like a mistake to me. It's gonna take an army to get in there. Wrong. By the time an army got close enough, every hostage would be dead. Now, the only way to pull these guys out is to keep it small. How many of them do you think are in there? You're enough, 50 in total. <laughs> Three of us, 50 of them. No problem. Yeah, right. <laughs> they run a patrol along that road every two hours. They change guards at that checkpoint every hour and a half. So different guys are usually on duty when the vehicles come in and when they go back out. That's our key in the door. You really think we can get in there? With the right distraction? No problem. What's more important, though, is that we can also get back out. There's a fresh water system under that fortress. Canals, lakes, storm drains, everything interconnects. Someone's done their homework. Yeah, your brother. Craig always thought this is one of the places the hostages might end up. So when Emil found out they were here, I realized we stood a chance. A way in, a way out. Thanks, Craig. Now, let's see if we can return the favor. Lad, time to split up. We'll pick you up on the road later on. But listen, if we're not there in two hours, you just find your way back to Beirut by yourself, okay? And when you get there, why don't you give this to Sandra Ross for me, okay? It is personal. Yeah. It also says Uncle Sam owes you one vegetable truck and whatever's left on my uh, tab, okay? See you later, partner. You think I'm stopping now, huh? Shalad, I promise you get paid in full, okay? It's not the money, my friend. In Lebanon, we have a story. Let me tell it to you. A Russian went to God and said, God, when will my people be free? And God said, in 20 years after you are dead. And the Russian cried. Then an African went to God and said, God, when will my people no longer starve? And God said, in 50 years after you are dead. And the African cried. And finally, a Lebanese man went to God and he said, God, when will the fighting end in this country? And God cried. You see, Chris, this time even God could not answer. This is my country. 
Now our people must find the courage to say no more, to stop the crying. I must come with you. Sandra. Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm running a little late this morning. Yeah, I had a long night. Had a lot of work to do. Yeah, I'll be in in about an hour. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. I hope the kettle doesn't take too long to boil. We must be moving soon. Please, don't be afraid, Miss Rose. We all got it straight. Harold, you cut the phone line, set the charges. Chris, you trigger them. Then we all move in and out. We can't hold this place for long. Ten minutes max. Now, things might get a little messy. Just stay close. Stick to the plan. We'll all do just fine. Let's move. Hey, good luck. سيارتي عطلاني وبدي اسال المدينه احنا مو رايحين لينات بس مو في هناك محل ممكن انزل فيه من فضلك اسمع يا زلمه اكسكيوز مي Okay. Do I have a choice? Salam alaikum. And that's it, home. ما شفتك من قبل؟ لا أنا جيت من بيروت الصبح بس عم بتحركوا لتعزيزات شفت شي دورية هنا؟ لا ولا شيء بس زلمة ختيار أهبل وسيارة الخربان <تصفيق> شو ماله؟ كان مبسوط كثير امبارح بالليل يلا كثير شكرا
ممنوع يكون سيارات هون متعرف هن قالوا لي تحت اجيبها لهو بدني بعض ضروريه جديده قال ايه استنى رايح افحص حاضر تليفون معتل تاكد انه السياره تتلل برا دور وقتها بسرعه انا امرك شوف جديد ولا شيء اليوم يمكن نقتل الكابتن براند انا قلت ولا السياره تفوت جوا هلو انتوا الاثنين اطلعوا على السطح انزل لتحت عند رهان وقتوا لهم Follow me. Where the fuck are you going, cowboy? Hey, I'm talking to you. Where are the hostages? Nobody, nobody,
my brother, Yazi. He's come to get me. Untie the ropes. He'll take us to America. Both of us, I promise. I promise, Yasi. Untie the ropes. Where do you think you're going? They're here. Stay back, fellas. Get up, fellas, and stay close together. Greg's not here. Chris, if you're not back in five minutes, I gotta blow the place. The entrance won't hold much longer. Now go. All right, y'all. Time to check out. Yazi. Shoot him, Yazi. Shoot him. Give me the gun, Yazi. You have nothing to fear. We're family. Don't listen to him. We take care of each other. Don't listen. Don't listen to him, Yazi. He's lying. Remember your parents, Yazi. Don't listen to him. Don't trust him. Shoot him, Yazi. The gun. Don't listen to him. Please. Don't listen to him. No. Please. Shoot him, Yazi. Just shoot him. Don't listen to him. No. Yazi, no. Down the well, gentlemen, down the well. When you get to the bottom, you see chalk marks. Follow them. Okay. Stay close together and keep moving. Jilad! Stay with the hostages. Get them to Beirut. Now go. Go on. Abdel. You're right! It is over! I will die today, Mr. Brandt. But today is a good day to die. And your brother will die with me. I told you, Mr. Brandt! We can never give up! Because we... We have nothing left to give.
How the hell did you know I was gonna move right, coach? Basketball. You always fake left and go right. You could have killed me. What if you were wrong? I was never wrong before. Captain Brandt, how was your vacation? Not bad. Kind of missed having you to kick around, though. You guys go on down there. I'll wait for Harold. He's dead, Charlie. Then let's get the hell out of here. Hey, man, you really gonna blow this place? Why? You want a postcard? Come on, let's move. I don't know. Let me handle this. Emil! Who the hell are these guys? Friend! The fuck is going on? Mr. Brand. So good to see you looking so well. I believe I told you I had some business to do in Beirut. The transaction was successful, and now I have a proposition to make. What makes you think I want to hear it? <laughs> you have a little choice. From the first time I met you, Mr. Brandt, I was impressed. Perhaps others were not, but I was. And I realized, if I'm correct, your talents would provide you a unique business opportunity. I believe you have a valuable merchandise in your truck. Am I correct? And I? I have a shining jewel. Ah. You bastard. Chris! I want your merchandise, Mr. Brandt. For this, I will return your jewel unblemished. What are you talking about? My English sometimes is not so good. Hand over the hostages, and I let Sandra go. What's happening? Khudam and Haun. What about my brother? I'm in business of making people happy. You can keep your brother, and you get Sandra. 
What more could you want? Now tell the hostages to get out of the truck. Nobody move. You are testing my patience. What about your dreams, Emil? You told me you don't take sides. I do not. This is strictly business. No, this is insanity. You take the hostages, you're part of the war. You become one of the people destroying your own country. My country is already destroyed. You're wrong, Emil. The past is destroyed. But you still have the future. Unless you destroy that too. There's no deal. I'm taking the hostages home. It's over. We are not playing poker. You will regret this. Drive through. What? You heard me, July. Drive through. know each other? I believe they've met. Hello, Miss Ross. Hello, Mr. Brandt. 